This video will explain how to assemble a timber Model U from a damaged older style timber bell. To assemble your bell, the following tools are helpful. Small wire cutters, pliers, or a 13 millimeter socket wrench with extension, a small screwdriver, a three millimeter hex wrench. If your old bell still has the clapper intact, you will first need to cut out the clapper by severing the cable with a pair of clippers or by pulling the clapper firmly downward with a pair of pliers. Once the clapper is removed, use a socket wrench or a pair of pliers to remove the plastic nut that attaches the brass bell to the plastic body. Once the brass bell is free, you can mount it to your new parts. We highly recommend working over a clean workspace where no small parts can be lost. Installing over open ground or carpeting is not recommended. Start by attaching the brass bell to the plastic body. Align the plastic tabs on the slots on the top of the bell with the timber logo facing forward. Once the bell is seated, use the plastic nut to attach the bell to the body. Finish with a 13 millimeter socket wrench until the nut is tight. Next, open the hidden internal panel and pass the clapper cable assembly with small spring through the hole in the top of the bell. Inside the panel, retrieve the spring and the top of the cable with your fingers and insert it into the side slot on the lever. Use a small screwdriver to be sure that the spring and cable are firmly inserted. Then pass the lever through the back of the slot in the internal chamber until it protrudes through the top of the bell. Next, take the small spring and place it in the bore hole on the back of the lever. And then add the small bell bearing carefully to the top of the string, spring. Carefully close the back panel so that it snaps tight and into place. Test the lever to make sure it indexes properly. Your bell is now assembled and ready to mount to your bike. You can mount directly to your 35 millimeter bars with the bell as is, or to 31.8 millimeter bars with the small shim, or to 22.2 millimeter bars by using both shims.